Let's start our time tonight with a quiet time. Let us relax our bodies and our minds and lift our thoughts to the higher level of divine love and light. Let's feel the presence of spirit as we turn into these higher dimensions. Feel the presence of God within ourselves and all around us and his helpers that work with us on these physical dimensions from their levels of love and light. And as we move higher in consciousness, we see all these chairs filled with beings of light and making the circle of light, complete circle, and other circles spreading out from that. Thank you, Father. Hello, Juan. Good evening, my beloveds. It is indeed a pleasure to be with you in this circle of light and be certain that the chairs are all filled with those who have come to be with you this evening. There is great excitement on this side of the veil when we have these times of talking to you from these realms. Those from the realms just above you have not always had the privilege of learning and, and having the understanding that there can be a contact between these levels. And they look forward to the time when you come together in your circle of light. Tonight I will speak to you of courage. And the courage that I speak about is the courage to keep your thoughts high, to keep your consciousness on the higher realms of love and light, the courage to walk this plane of darkness and illusion, but keep your consciousness in the higher realm, to keep your thoughts above and beyond the physical level. It does take courage to be in this world, but not of it. And this is the thing that I speak of this evening. As you move through your days, remember that God walks beside you as you walk this path. His helpers are all around you. Feel his presence within you also, and know that you are never alone. This is important to you as you go to your times of stress and times of doubt that you do run into every once in a while. There are times when you allow the world to come in upon you, and this is the time to remember, to have the courage, to lift your thought, to lift them above and beyond these realms of darkness, and to know that God loves you, and he has sent his helpers, his armada, to be with you, and to guide you in your every thought, word, and deed, every step of the way. As we move through the days ahead, there will be changes. There will be times of confusion for your world. There will be times that will be good, but will not seem to be good from the outer view because the changes that come will have to be wrenching for a while or seem so because of the resistance to change from your people of your planet. It is difficult for many to accept change. 
those who have walked the path of the earth a long time without change find it difficult to accept the change. There will be many changes, and they will all be for the good in the ultimate sense. It will be towards moving you into the golden age. And even if they seem to be uh, unpleasant or seem to be alarming to you, be not afraid and know that God walks with you. Have the courage to realize that his love for you is stronger than any power in the whole universe. When you can remember that, that his love for you is stronger than any power in the universe, then you can be at peace. You can be relaxed and you can enjoy your time that you spend on this physical plane. As you move through your day, you awaken to the day and move into your day, make a decision each morning to be at peace, to walk bes beside the Spirit of God that is within you and be aware of his helpers beside you. Be open for his love that is continually pouring through you when you open the door for it. Remember to send God's love ahead of you into the day and have the courage to stand up to anything that seems unloving, ungodly. Know that it is just illusion and that it cannot harm you when you stand fast on your understanding and know the truth of who you truly are. You are indeed God, and you are God's children, and he is with you continuously. This would be a good evening to have a small uh, circle of conversation and questions and allow you to uh, open up and ask things that you would like to know, things that maybe have bothered you or things that you would like to know about spirit and the other dimensions or of the physical. Would you like to do this this evening? Would you you have something to offer? I was thinking out if this could um, pass out in the Greta and you said. Uh, let's uh, say this again a little bit louder, please. The Virginians are turning to step of southern names, theaters, money, and throws. I sent them out to the roof. And I'll get tired and they keep it back house. The children in U Yugoslavia. Is this a particular uh, situation? I spend on it on society every um, the effort. I see. Yes. Uh, these things do happen all over the world. Sometimes you hear about it, and sometimes you do not. I I realize now what you're speaking of. Uh, the Entities from this dimension take every opportunity to awaken you to the real truth. And children are so much more open to accept the truth because they have come from this round, these rounds sooner than you who are adults. And they come with their innocence and they understand more in a childlike way than the adults do. They are able to accept more, and so the doors are open to them so much more than uh, older ones. Apparitions that you speak of are purposely placed there for bringing the attention to spirit, 
bringing the attention away from the physical and helping those who are open to understand that there is so much more than the physical realm. For, my dear, there is so much more. Is there anything particular in this situation that you would speak of? Yeah. Have you started what you're... Yes. There are many, many situations like this that you do not hear of. So many uh, do not speak of them because they are afraid of being condemned and thought strange. There are individuals, but there are also groups who have uh, the same experience and they keep it to themselves except for times like this. And as we move more into the new age, there will be more who are open to speak up and to allow themselves to uh, be heard. In your time of Atlantis, when you were in this continent, in the latter days of that uh, civilization, we did appear many times on pedestals and talk to the throngs of crowds, trying to explain what was about to happen and trying to help them to understand what they had brought about. And many did understand. Some did not. But as you move into this golden age, you will find that there is much more strength, much more power. After you get through a few, what you would think of as rough times, there will be times where things will happen, and they are already happening, that you will think maybe the end of the world has come, or many people will think this, and so they will be fearful. And this is one of the reasons that we chose to talk of the word courage tonight. And we would have you who hear these words to have the courage of your conviction and your understanding to be not afraid, but to stand up and declare the truth. Some will hear you and some will not. But be not concerned about this. Be not concerned even if you're ridiculed. Right now, you can speak a little but there will come a time in your future when you should speak more about the truth because things are changing rapidly and many, many are opening up even though they do not yet know it. Many are opening up to the understanding of God's truth and his love. They're opening up to the understanding of spirit. Because you see, my dear ones, we all have this understanding within it. It is within everyone. And so many on your plane are so involved with the five sense world, five senses of your physical world, that they do not take the time to be aware of the spiritual entity that they are and the God that dwells within them. You who do take the time to stop and think of this and to meditate on the God within you and get acquainted with your spiritual being are forerunners that go ahead in this new age. You are pioneers and you must realize this and to understand it and to be open to speak out when the timing is right. 
and you will know when the timing is right in an individual way but also in groups as the vibrations of your planet continue to accelerate and to get higher and higher your consciousness opens up much greater and many others everything and everyone on this planet is being raised in consciousness at this time now at this particular time the negative vibrations are being increased also but as i have told you many times there will come a time when the negative cannot stand the higher vibrations and the entities who continue to choose to think only negative, fearful thoughts will have to reincarnate on other planets that are comparable to what this planet has been in the past. But you who choose to raise your consciousness and to continue to think loving thoughts and to take the time to be aware of your God being will have the greatest opportunity that you have had in a long, long time because you will be able to stay with this planet as it is raised up to a self-illuminating star and you will be raised with it. It is the most opportune time to be in the physical in the history of this planet since it was formed. And as you lose through this golden age, you will see and understand much, much more than you do now. If you can continue to move higher in consciousness, to take the time each day to set aside so much time just to go within. Now, you do set aside so much time to do your homework when you're doing a class, but also set aside the time to get acquainted with the God within you, to feel his presence, and to know and be aware of your divinity. As you do this every day, even for 10 or 15 minutes, you are becoming aware and you're making that connection that connects you to these higher realms. And as the planet's vibration increases, you can increase with it if you continue to do this, if you continue to make the contact of the God within you and to realize that we are always there to help you and to remind you. Are there other questions to see in you? comments that you would make. This is a time of great opportunity because it is a time when the light is much brighter than ever before. The light of this planet on this in this new age, maybe not now it has not is brighter than ever before, but it will be and everything is coming out into the open. The politicians, uh, other people in the limelight are being exposed for what they are. And so as you move through your daily uh, awareness, be aware that everything is boiling up to the surface it is a bit like the uh, way of making gold. When you separate the gold from the other ore, you bring it to very intense heat. And all the other ore, the dross boils away, and all that is left is pure gold. And this is what is happening now in your time of this new age. The cauldron, the fire under the cauldron is being turned up 
and it is getting higher every day, and the dross is being boiled away, and everything is being exposed to the light, and everything is seen as it truly is, instead of hiding things as we have in the past done so much. Everything is being brought out into the open. And so the understanding is also brought out into the open for the masses. If they can see, if they choose to open up to this understanding, they still have the freedom to stay in their old ruts and graduate from this dimension without any greater understanding are not much lower than they came in with. But if they do choose to open up to the light of understanding and take advantage of this particular time, they can make great strides as you are making and as you will continue to make. You are making great strides, my dear one, and you will continue to do this. And those who are sitting in the so-called invisible, I would encourage you to take this unto yourself also and realize that you can reincarnate and get on with your things that you want to work out. As you walk with your teachers, as you talk about your future, then consider moving higher in consciousness and what it will take to move you higher in consciousness. Some that sit in your circle tonight are, are here uh, that have recently come to these realms, and they are not yet acclimated to this way of life. It is a change, uh, and quite a change, to uh, move from your dimension to these dimensions. And it takes time to get used to it. And this is why we encourage you to stand in love to all those who have graduated recently, to help them to get acquainted with their new life. When you have spent some time in the physical, you forget about your real home, and then you have to start all over when you get here and remember. So many people think that when you graduate from your realm that automatically you know everything, and this is not so, my dear one. You open up to where you are and what you've been doing on the physical, and you bring with you to these realms the consciousness that you have developed on the physical. And then as you look over your life and move into a greater understanding with your teacher's help, then you can see where you stand in your soul's growth and understand uh, where, what you need to do next. It is good for you in the physical to think of this because as young as some of you are, you have your a life ahead of you, many years that you can extend at this time and stay in the physical a long time you can accomplish great growth and you can accomplish the ability to be aware of these other dimensions just as much as you're aware of the physical. If you continue to build your foundation, if you continue to open up to the spiritual truth, this is not so fantastic. It is true, my dear Ronis that you can be aware of the many mansions that God has prepared for you 
even while you're in the physical. Are there other questions this evening? Fairly what wondering why, and it seems to be that the chore to be in awareness in mind, vengeful ethies who break the hand but as meditating and learn. We call back in see where we teed it or where we started. Um, why does why did there have to a kind of sleep for breast still thought? Yes, you see you are bombarded constantly with the five cent world, the five senses. And this is what you have been used to giving attention to for so long. And when you fall away for a day or two of not doing your meditation, if you're going within or reading your lesson and being aware of the spiritual entity that you are, then you slip back into the other ruts and you forget for a little while, that you are not this physical being, and this is not your real soul. But be not concerned about this. Be patient with yourself. And as soon as you're aware that you have slipped back into the old rut, then take the time to renew your acquaintance with your spiritual self, the God within you, and reach out to us who are on these higher realms and let your light shine upward. Use your inner image and project light upward in your consciousness to reach us, and we will reach down to make the contact with you. And if you are open, you will feel our presence and you will feel our thoughts we are able to project thoughts into your minds, but if you are not open to them or if you are not considering that we are doing it, then you do not hear because your attention is on the outer instead of the inner. It is important to remember that the inner is so much more important the inner is the reality. The outer world is just a reflection of the inner. And maybe you do not understand this from your physical conscious self, but there is a part of you that knows this truth. There is a part of you that is able to know and understand the true reality of your being. And when you get used to identifying with that higher part of you, the higher self that you are, and bring this consciousness into your physical daily routine, then it is easier for you to remember. As you awaken to the physical, make the contact right away. As soon as you are awake and have had your coffee and have gone to the bathroom, as soon as you are into your body, think about these dimensions. Project love ahead of you into your day. And remember often, put up some signposts along the way so that you do remember and send love often as you go through your day. When you have something different happening in your life, that it takes your attention away and you get out of your routine of your spiritual contact. And it is all right. Be not concerned, overly concerned about this. Just as soon as you're aware, then get back into your spiritual routine. We are always there, and we are reminding you, if you will hear, and we are just a thought away. Many of your thoughts, my dear ones, 
are the thoughts that we project in your minds that you do not recognize as our thoughts. And when you all, all of a sudden you remember, oh, let's see, did I do my homework today? Did I send love today? Sometimes these are our thoughts projecting into your mind and reminding you because you have given us permission to do this, to help you, you have asked for our help. And this gives us the permission to protect these thoughts, to, to remind you, and to help you to keep the door open to us. Are there other questions for Sifu? It is always a beautiful time to be with you in spirit as we make contact with your physical realm and as you lose through your summer and you are aware that things are slower in your city in the summer and everything is warmer and those who are not used to this are to let the heat get to them, so, so to speak, may slow down in their awareness and in their tender. But be not concerned about this. They will come back and they will open up. Every thing has its own pace. And if you will remember the words of your Bible, and they are symbolic that God built the world in six days and the rest is on the seventh. This is the way that things are. There is a pulsed beat of six beats and then a pause. And this is to remind you that as you move through your day, you do have your weekend is now. Many years, and not, not so many years ago, people had to work on the weekends as well as the week just to make ends meet and to have enough to eat. So you are fortunate now to have your weekend and your pause and to change pace. Is there any other questions that you would, or anything that you would speak of tonight? But do you lie? Do you? Do you have a nest writing? Is this died? Um, been hurt. And, and in time when you took in, burn, through the go and the mitten, see? Yes and no. Uh, if your consciousness is high, if you send love into it and ask for God's protection and, and for our help, then you can receive good messages in this way. But if you are lax in this, then you could allow someone in of the lower realms. But my dear one, it is so very simple to know what is going on. If the message seems good to you, then it is of God. If it's not, it's not. And this is the way that you're done. You read the message, and if it seems of the spirit, of the spiritual contact, of the higher spiritual nature, then accept it. But if you are doubtful, then reject it. Does this make sense to you? Yes. It would be well if, as your teacher has advised you, if you can change over uh, as soon as you can to receiving it through your mind instead of the automatic writing. Uh, you've you may uh, want to practice this 
of just sitting down and writing down your thoughts and letting it come through. Do you have other thoughts about this? Are there any other questions this evening? Why does it have a current habit? How's that? And the thoughts come to the mind instead of automatic writing? Because she has more of a choice of reaching the higher levels. When you allow someone to take control of your arm and hand and write, you see, uh, lower entities could do this just as well. But it is not so apt to do this as it, when it comes through your mind, as you call it, inspirational writing. Does this help your understanding? Yeah. You see, there are entities uh, that are around your physical plane that are of the darkness who are not trying to grow spiritually, and it would please them to uh, confuse you if they could because they do not have anything particularly to do, and if they could uh, wreck a little havoc in your life, so to speak, then they would chuckle about this. So it all things are good. And when you can see through the outer illusion and see through and understand the, the content of a spiritual message, of a higher spiritual message, than of one that is of the lower. There is another thing that I would say to you about this. Your teachers on the higher rounds, such as come to you on Wednesday nights, will not tell you exactly what to do. They will help you to understand as I have not told you not to do the automatic writing, I have said that it might be better if you did the other. But the lower entities will give you specific directions and tell you things to do. And so when this happens, then you can judge by the message and know that it could be of the lower entity when they specifically tell you what to do. For example, uh, one individual in Donald's group was told to go to the post office right away and uh, there's something important. And there wasn't anything in the mailbox. It was of the lower realms. And they had the chuckle of getting you to do this do you understand? You are all moving higher in consciousness, and you do have your guardian angels and your teachers and your guides. Listen for their direction. Be open for their love that they are sending you, and be open for God's love. It is always there, my dear Wanda. We love you greatly, and we would help you in every way possible that you will let us. God bless you, my dear ones, and good evening. So, it's cool I found it. But then, I think my pals are together and even, and we can do it all. Rings and cheers, oh, and, well, as the old has, we link to my account and all the stairs off of the pedestal. Every year, we allow God blow to cool over the shit and coma, still trade and fun then, and sealed up in the moments of. But let us do close all of those and that live on better ears to mine, and all of those that are 
and run it here in the first to eleven stone for the and I straight along and feel all clay and the bear. Let us in times of the winter or moon. Freddy out of that fenty and careful kind of the warm blanket of down plan. The winter that time going to head and bring in the big green. And we were every thought or days and every trick to lace and then there we encounter. And let it in that time going cast on all the morrow. Spirit strength on four of the life lit, but the all out quarters of love. And then the can file like to sing from Greg Fanya to the help and find spine. The tents and tooth have found their wind, and so stood also here and glory corner, sunk by a kind of pen. Bombarian, we can't see the picture, sort of staying in the unit in the back. Why I got the head? Oh, hold it. Or it seems to get home. Yeah. Well, can we understand this lingua vulgaris spirit? All right. And the same saying applies for your voice in our city. And they were along with Miss Cole, they were always helpful there. We was a member of the that would help the way curve fan work in the uh, honesty. How though concerning I always wonder is how they actually how how feel um do they need stand mobbing for you or Well, you know one of those things in a certain life parents there was we were taught we cut to it or well may have this immense things. And we kinda of make plans and uh, and it gets your privilege in a bit about health care. But uh they've Predict up into our mind, and when we forget, you know, for reminder, and uh, they help her to waste into a lot of strength that they do weird things all of things for. And a lot of the happen while while we're away from our fathers at night, and a lot of plans are laid, and the. We come back to the city school, we're not conscious for a little so much, but they're still there. And if we cheer them out, take the risk thing, you know, where they can help for a few minutes, right? The more that we stand throughout to all the invisibles around us every day, if there is a lower glimpse in it for they have to leave or tell it, that they're our teacher, but. And the one of their health and that opens the door more. But we have to remember to recognize their present. It, um, it's easy to persist about this. It's how you said our fence says so much on the world. Order set them out and place the past where the stuff box we're getting kind of the right one to once we in. Maybe it'll walk the tear or say it there in the middle of the night. The tall leaves are slow to write. If you guess I'm featuring half, will you stand from this book? Yeah, if there's a vibration that's here, and what you write to is resting master, but different kind of vibration. And you toast as it to on. I just carry some talent to it, you know, it's one fret, one I really. It's true. And only the first day we really didn't think since that there were has and really it's not. Or or and but the first it didn't know the tell that it'll be all of it all. It's all broken. 
I'm as very soft to you. I'm as cheeky as Danny the Uther. Earth, what can you call it? Things lower. Uh, but they have key dip the nights, cutest. Amen. But this most of the time, I won't wish me to. I'm not worried about But what? One path of therapy and uh, the darkness and the words and then go over there. And yeah. It's our ground, some colors, decide to get out of it. I say no in the same camp, the sours come down and lead it tight and keep the tricks on uh, automatic writing and leading words, things like that. It didn't that. That cares what some of them do. That's this could back a list play. You know, a lot of people know this very, there's a better way, but they don't want to change it. Thank you. Thank you. Our pet ref brain home with poster. You know, it's sure to get homework that's always so that they you know. Yeah, that's our entity with Wayne the Mama, you know, that he gave her the problem when first started. He sold her, so she'd been in limbo for over 900 years, just dissing off a little bit. 900 of the barge. Yeah. <laughs> Climbing has to get to him some, somewhere he ought to find. I mean, it will, as has the level gone up, eventually. Everyone will. It is a wide about to say this. Because they're to buy, thing we can't accept they will start it forever. If there's a part of the divinity of them, but it's what they're real and rage here. But we're to lead them in. Do fall before us, you want to, and make it stay. Well, someone now didn't believe in the Derek that that is some Simpson cast oak. Betting for a while, they're not knowing to see it with. They're a big confused. But then, and a lot of them don't know they realize they're there, or at least think they're there, you know, they don't realize they've lost their physical body. Because they have a body over there, and uh, they're breathing, they're alive, and in the steps, and then when somebody ties the color, they're allowing them to save this over a very simple thing. So he's, uh, he's in kind of crazy and put a bottle or something. Yeah, the book, Life, the World, and it's old, and it's, it's out, it's out, it's out, we are the cost of the little end of steam. It's not. What is Let's take it to the air and top it down to the air. It was two of them. It, it's been out of crap for a long time, but it did come with a real thoughts of true but life in the world that would tell them more about life in the world than it. And this Catholic priest there graduated well and was in a temple book car and during the physical where got over there and saw this. It was to what truth and what he wrote. So he wants to get that's the records straight. So he it's kind of he wrote these two books through Lady. And uh Vincent. Yeah, it it read a platter of details so it's play with other glass a little bit. Well, I don't know in mortar. Well and power one in very simple. The gear it seemed that was put fair. Yeah, I'm not that least so he's taught not to know the and it had me in ways of both there is that they some gummy then we put on. Thank you. I hear a brat in the mouth sound of the day that's fake and fraught and this woman read it and it I just sense this gap. And I had to be other way. Now I expect in his own place. He still is thinking of it. And there there double I mean rest of the web and it this rings like it's neat. Grab the baby as I the class has to go wake this. I was a little casually with my mail, so blah, the senior wrote that little book, so really that's it's an eternal pill that would dwell in very mild. Or, I don't look at the full cycle. And that was a bastard dark around, right? And how the bills it like it took, he left the fight. Where they were sad. It's how the low story of Sam. And third of that was his teeth playing was the bride that um, Edward. Uh, 
and their affair and how it thought they don't want to tell us how it's going to have more experience with the ability to come down with physical. And the girls are pregnant, and what they married, you know, for this, the he committed suicide, or uh, was he's on a dark route. I said, I'm sorry, well, let's fill in to him. I saw, but uh, her soulmate cut to uh, help her this way below him. Thank you, connect suicide to Zoe Scudder. Oh, out of red, me, um, yeah, it, uh, the memory you cut the past that chore and uh, you will be around her brain and so that contrast to the drop and, and, and. And around the people, there's your soul sphere, and I'm saying, I think you need to it. I don't know. And then pull them, don't get out of it. We pull get away or we follow. And now that's all these tools did have type of problem. The situation the earth they saw them up. Workers, you know, air assist, the body, the worst around on the phone, covering your or they were be about life, life. They call mentally disturbed the tongue. Aaron, hello. It ain't been your emotional spirit modeling, you know. But you, you're still even there to reset the health of your skin too, but, uh, you know, it's like heavily wearing that loving, but it's pull it back to that pull it with butter, right? So it's about letting the goats so a garden or something like that. And you went through a very clear, I think, my ego. You know, well, got it certain about. Did me that in my fluid last? That's a lot of the fair red that was. I last or fast, I'm going to reread it. Oh, yeah. I think it was that uh, one anyway. Yeah. That were the uh, hang up there you had. So he went back to and reused that. Or well, so indebted. I'm just saying, wait. Well, it's true. It's true. It's true. Makes you want to give that.